the citizens of this city who have martial skills at their disposal are here with urge Not to join the royal militia. You should have known that. Hey, you. I have a proposition for you. What do you I want? Mean, I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah oh, snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long no, enough. I want her to give that. up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What's in it for me? When I have the stall, you will get a weapon from me, and a damned good one. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you, because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. That's terrible. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to force the letter on her? Let her show you her wares, and while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, Everybody I am an I influential man in the city, so don't try I to play me for time. a fool. That's not what I heard. Show me your wares. Take your pick. That's not what I heard. Don't you tell this to that. anyone. Nobody will learn anything from me. If it's I totally hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the oh, Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. You're looking for a job? All civilian sure. judges What's it about? are to hand My over their duties to the royal back. paladins. And I'm waiting for a delivery from the former The Honorable Akio. Lord Andre is commanded is to punish to every you? crime give you or act of resistance pieces. against the Fine. king's I'm guards in. most okay. severely. Just tell a kill that I said. Every you. inhabitant of Corinth who is guilty of a crime it to is me. to report immediately to Lord Andre. It's really not that that. Problem. I can't Where can I find Akil's farm? Just go out here through the east gate and follow the path to the southeast. It's After really a short while, problem. you'll come to a stone stairway. Go up that, and from there, you'll already be able to see Akil's farm. That's not what I heard. Show me your wares. Who says things like that? That doesn't surprise me. Hey, Inos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduce himself as Ringaroo, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Ringaroo fellow, I'll tell you what I know. I could get your gold back it's for you. Oh, and why would you do that? Why have I heard about this before? I never knew that. Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper Nobody quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. I'm from out of town like most of the merchants in the marketplace. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. I'm looking for clues to the Thieves' Guild. I might well be able to help you. Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Rengaru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. 
Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. I never knew that. Alric says you got his sword. Do you mean that ragged fellow who traded his weapon to me for a few torches and chunks of meat? That's him. I still have the sword. How much do you want for it? Well, for you, 50 gold pieces. That's been known a long time. Here's 50 gold pieces. Give me Alric's sword then. Here you go. That was a good deal. Hear ye, inhabitants of Sherinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. Hey, you! Someone's got to troll. Hey, you! Jora says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! That's not what I heard. That was how I saw learn anything from me. That's Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... And now, you tell me who you are. I'm nothing but a poor wretch, trying to make ends meet one way or another. Well, what else can I do? I can't find a job in town. All right, I see. Spare me your whining. I deserve a share of the loot. All right, looks like I have no choice. I'll share half with you. All right, give me half then. Here's your half. And now, let me go. I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Why would I want to do that? In the city, it's always good to know the right people and to stay on their good side. I could put in a good word for you. I, I can't and won't say more. The rest is up to you. Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh. You won't regret this. Thanks, man. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? I won't tell her a thing from now on. He got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? Now that's typical, isn't it? Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. In us be praised. There is still justice in the city. You 
hardly know who to believe. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Right. Listen up. You haven't heard anything of what I'm about to tell you from me, Capiche? There are shady characters who frequent the Dockside Inn. I bet the landlord knows a thing or two. If you're planning to track down the thieves, you should go talk to him. You could act like you're up to something crooked, for example. Maybe he'll fall for it. But be very careful. These people are not to be trifled with. I want part of the gold as a reward, but I already gave you a valuable hint. That should suffice as reward for you. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinnus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas These are What do you know about the bandits who robbed Hacken the merchant? Oh, that matter. Don't remind me. As far as we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once, we were able to track them down and follow them. But we broke off pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinnus. This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city. But we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. Don't tell this to anybody. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. opinion. He really should have known better. Things. I've got my own opinion about that. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. Show me your wares. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? <laughs> Some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. What is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. And then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, uh, go find some work. Preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, 
the carpenter in the lower part of town, uh, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this feller that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? That's disgusting. Oh, is this filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down-at-heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino the Handsome, bon vivant and ladies man. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. I don't need them. Do you have anything else to tell me? Make yourself popular, never promise anything to anyone. Take what you can and watch out that you don't get into a quarrel with the militia. Or with jealous husbands, of course. They're the worst, let me tell you. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. Doesn't matter to me. Thrash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But you'll have to run around with that mug of yours for life. Hey! Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you are bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So you want to join us, son? I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean, there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which, until now, have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you, really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Corinus. Good. Let us summarize. 
You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas the Necromancer that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the Ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the Ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the Ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I have vanquished the Sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days including the story about the banning of the beast called the Sleeper. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this. That confuses me slightly, but I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. Even if you can really claim responsibility for that, the great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Corinus these days, harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. Where are the other water mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The bandits are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town too who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. Is there anything that could help me with my search? You're a very persistent young man. But I actually can think of something that could make your tasks easier for you. 
I shall give you this ore amulet. You'll certainly be able to use it. It is an amulet of the searching Will-o'-the-Wisps. There are only very few of them. The Will-o'-the-Wisp that inhabits this amulet has very special properties. It can help you find things that normally elude the naked eye. You summon it by simply wearing the amulet. If it loses its power or you cannot find it, simply put on the amulet again and it will reappear. The Will-o'-the-Wisp can detect weapons. It could be very helpful to you in investigating the weapons deliveries to the bandits. Treat it well, and it will never fail you. A will-o'-the-wisp in an amulet? Will-o'-the-wisps are admirable creatures. They consist of pure magical energy. They are bound to the magical ore in this world. It is their origin. It gives them their strength. I'm not surprised that you've never heard of them. They only appear to the person who bears the ore to which they belong. Will-o'-the-wisps living in the wild have been forcefully removed from their sources. They will attack anyone who approaches them. There is no way to help those pitiful creatures. You had better stay away from them. Can the Will-o'-the-wisp do more than that? More than look for close combat weapons? Not unless you teach it. I think Riordian knows how to teach these beings. He is one of us, currently traveling with Satyrus. Perhaps he can tell you more. Thank you. I shall take good care of it. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will. No doubt about it. Provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. About those missing people. Yes? Where should I start looking for them? Most of those people disappeared down by the harbor. That's probably where you should start your search. Let me tell you what I know. What have you found out? Nothing important so far. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. Where can I find a priest of Inos? The best thing would be to look around the marketplace. You will find an emissary of the monastery there. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Beliar. Beliar is the dark god of death, destruction, and all things unnatural. He is an eternal battle with Inos, but Adonos guards the balance between the two. Only a few humans follow the call of Beliar. However, he grants great strength to those who do. Can you teach me something about magic? Only the Chosen of Inos and the Chosen of Adonos are permitted to work rune magic. But common mortals can also work magic with the help of spell scrolls. I can show you how you can channel and expand your magic powers. Wait! If you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it.
too. I knew that would be a problem. That's an open secret. Hey! I don't know why it gets so worked up. Teach me how to sneak around. All right. So, first, you have to make sure that you shift your weight properly. To achieve that, bend your knees and always put your foot down heel first. Make sure that you always keep your weight on the foot you're standing on until you've got your other foot securely placed. Most creatures you can't sneak up on unless they're sleeping. The beasts just smell you. So always pay close attention when you're out there. I can't believe that. Everybody knows by now. That was quite obvious. Who says things like that? Hey, teach me something. Good, your strength has increased. Hey, do you know anything about a thieves guild in town? The questions you ask. Of course, there's a thieves guild here. Just like in every big city, and every petty pickpocket or fence is probably connected to it somehow. Do you know where I can find the Thieves Guild? <laughs> no offense, but even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you anything. These people usually react very sensitively to things like that. If you want to get involved with them, you should be very careful. Vatra sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me as usual. I might have known. I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back like to the that. water mages. That's not what my husband thinks. I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. It's going to get I think I had better take it there myself. That's but you could come heard. with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. That's not what my husband What exactly thinks. do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about That's that. Not what my husband Fatras thinks. would have my head. These are bad times. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. The Ring is to the Water Mages what the Paladins are to the Fire Magicians. But unlike the Paladins, we operate in the background. The Ring is a mighty weapon in the battle against the dangers that threaten the people of Corinus. But this only works as long as we keep the identity of all those secret who belong to the Ring of Water. So keep this to yourself. Sure. 
believe me. I want to join the Ring of Water. That's fine with me. But the decision about whether you will be accepted or not lies with the water mages alone. You don't say. What did you do to impress the water mages? I protected them for a long time when we were still living with the barrier. And they have plenty of reason to be grateful to me. You don't say. What's it like to belong to the ring? We are very different from the usual communities you can join here in Corinus. Once you're one of us, we're not going to ask anything of you that you are not ready to do. The only thing we truly require of you is to keep quiet. We work in secret and do not want to let outsiders know who our members are. We shall keep an eye on you. Everything else remains to be seen. I see. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? I need some money. Don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the money lender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the Harbor District, where it borders on the lower part of town. He doesn't see that. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Those are all just Really? Vatras said you could help me join a community. Getting tired of being the underdog, are you? All right, I see your point. I can exert my influence with the mercenaries if you want to join Lee. And I'm sure we can find a way to get you into the monastery soon. But the easiest thing would certainly be for you to join the militia. Which community do you prefer? Nobody ever asked you. That's typical, isn't it? The fire magicians. <laughs> I bet Vatris didn't foresee that or he wouldn't have sent you to me. And it's gonna get even worse. Joining the monastery is expensive. Those boys won't even let you in unless you pay them a tribute. And the only one who could do anything about that is Vatris himself. You had better talk to him again about this. Let's wait and see what happens. Who says things like that? About those missing people. It's a bad business. Isn't this a case for the militia? The militia is pretty useless if you ask me. They're never going to clear this up. The missing people have just vanished into thin air. That's not what I heard. So tell me what you know. The first was William, one of the fishermen here in Corinus. One day, he simply didn't return. At first, we thought that one of those sea monsters out there had eaten him in his boat for breakfast. But not too long afterwards, other people started disappearing from the town and the surroundings. Pretty random events, though. Do you really think? Everyone's at a loss so far. The way it looks, we'll just have to wait until we finally stumble across a clue. Why haven't I heard about this before? I haven't seen it with my own eyes. Don't tell me you didn't know that. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet, but you could help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. It signifies that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you wear my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know. Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. It's not what I heard. But that's terrible. That's nothing new. Someone's gotta do the work. Is it really true? But that's terrible.